Welcome back everybody. My name is Mr. Campbell from MrCampbellRocks.com. This is 2.8 and the last tutorial in the Unit 2 module for G Suite Learning Center uh, in Google Sites. So the great thing, and this is beautiful, those of you that have worked with website outside of Google Sites, whether you've used WordPress or Joomla or Squarespace or anything like that, is a lot of times the formatting and moving things around isn't quite what you think it's going to be. So the great thing about Google Sites is you can move and resize resize any piece of content on your site. And uh, the way that you do that is you'll move content through what we call tiles. And so I'm gonna show you a couple different things that you can do, how you can anchor images to text or unanchor images from text, how you can drag and drop them vertically and connect all of them. So the first thing is, is let's look at the tile. So when I have a box, the blue is where the edges are. When we're moving a text box, we're going to have a option to move it vertically and it expands or horizontally, excuse me, it expands vertically as we type more text. So what you'll notice is, as I dragged this uh, text box from left to right is we have these gray lines behind. Those are the tiles. And so what happens with text boxes and image boxes is those tiles lock into place so we have a structure for our site. It's not just willy-nilly. So again, these two are anchored. You can see that blue line. As we move this, even if we went further, you'll see that my image box gets a little bit smaller. But I move as I move it back, the image is still floating out here. So an image box has the blue dots all the way around. This is telling me that I can move it in multiple ways. I can move it diagonally which will keep our image ratio the same. I can move it horizontally, or I can move it vertically, however I want. Now the great thing about this option is that we can lock these into place. And so as we grab a new section and pull it over here, you'll see that these are locked into place. Well, we can do this on our own. We don't necessarily have to pull these layouts over. We can make these on our own. So what we'll do is we can just hover over our image and we'll drag it over and you'll see that big thick blue line. What that's telling me, right, as the creator of the Google site is this text box and this image box will now be locked together. So when I drop it there, you'll see this whole thing, excuse me, this whole thing moves now when I grab the image because we've locked the text with the image. Now if I hit Command Z or Control Z, it's gonna undo a couple things. It unlocks that option. We can also click on the undo last action right here. I can also go the other way. I can grab text. Again, here's our 10 little dots. If I zoom in, you can see there's the 10 little dots. And I have my compass. I can grab the text and I can link that to an image. So you'll see that those two are locked because now the blue box goes around the whole thing. So if I want to move it over here, I can move it over here. And you'll see this is set up just like this. So again, I can click on undo or command or control Z on my computer, which is to undo. So the great thing about this is you have so many options in Google Sites to create what this looks like. And that's why when you see multiple Google Sites, right, this will be this will be put in some Facebook pages as people are sharing all of their Google Sites. There's hundreds of different layouts and possibilities and what these can look like. So that's why a lot of people love the Google Sites is because they're super easy to navigate and use. You don't have to know any code or anything like that. And I know Squarespace and some of those other builders are trying to do that. But as far as being a teacher, you don't want to spend all of your time, maybe you do, right? But I mean, for the most part, if you're here learning how to do this, is you want to be able to create the site that functions the way you want, that gets parents and students the information that they need without having to learn all the code and all the organization, all that stuff on the back end. Most likely, you'd rather spend your time building content for your classroom and curriculum and you know assignments and quizzes and projects and activities and all those kinds of things that's most likely why you're a teacher is because you're good at those things and you could be both right you could be somebody that knows code and html and wants to create your own site and that's phenomenal uh, but if you're here most likely it's because you want to get in build your site and get the content there this is the again last tutorial in the module two which has been basically editing and creating your site 
uh, module three as we go on to the next module. Um, it'll be pretty fun. Uh, we get into more details and we share and collaborate on sites and, and how we can add more people, uh, including parents and students and other teachers to our Google sites. Again, if you're here, it's most likely because you're an educator. I love you. I appreciate you. And I'm glad that you're here.